In astronomy, the barycenter or barycenter, from the ancient Greek baris heavy plus kentron center, is the center of mass of two or more bodies that orbit one another and is the point about which the bodies orbit. It is an important concept in such fields as astronomy and astrophysics. The distance from a body's center of mass to the barycenter can be calculated as a two-body problem. If one of two orbiting bodies is much more massive than the other and the bodies are relatively close to one another, the barycenter will typically be located within the more massive object. In this case, rather than the two bodies appearing to orbit a point between them, the less massive body will appear to orbit about the more massive body, while the more massive body might be observed to wobble slightly. This is the case for the Earth-Moon system, in which the barycenter is located on average 4,671 km 2,902 miles from Earth's center, 75% of Earth's radius of 6,378 km 3,963 miles. When the two bodies are of similar masses, the barycenter will generally be located between them and both bodies will orbit around it. This is the case for Pluto and Charon, one of Pluto's natural satellites, as well as for many binary asteroids and binary stars. When the less massive object is far away, the barycenter can be located outside the more massive object. This is the case for Jupiter and the Sun. Despite the Sun being a thousandfold more massive than Jupiter, their barycenter is slightly outside the Sun due to the relatively large distance between them. In astronomy, barycentric coordinates are non rotating coordinates with the origin at the barycenter of two or more bodies. The International Celestial Reference System is a barycentric coordinate system centered on the Solar System's barycenter. Topic: Two-body problem. The barycenter is one of the foci of the elliptical orbit of each body. This is an important concept in the fields of astronomy and astrophysics. If a is the distance between the centers of the two bodies, the semi-major axis of the system, r1 is the semi-major axis of the primary's orbit around the barycenter, and r2 equals a minus r1 is the semi-major axis of the secondary's orbit. When the barycenter is located within the more massive body, that body will appear to wobble rather than to follow a discernible orbit. In a simple two-body case, the distance from the center of the primary to the barycenter, R1, is given by R1 equals a m2 m1 plus m2 equals a 1 plus m 1 m 2 display style r underscore 1 equals a cdot frac m underscore 2 m underscore 1 plus m underscore 2 equals frac a 1 plus frac m underscore 1 m underscore 2 where r 1 is the distance from body 1 to the barycenter a is the distance between the centers of the two bodies M1 and M2 are the masses of the two bodies. <laughs> Primary-secondary examples The following table sets out some examples from the solar system. Figures are given rounded to three significant figures. The term primary secondary is used to distinguish between involved participants, with the larger called the primary and the smaller called the secondary. Topic: <laughs> Inside or outside the sun? If M1 M2, which is true for the sun and any planet, then the ratio R1 R1 approximates to a R one M two M one Display style frac A R underscore one C D O T frac M underscore two M underscore one Hence the barycenter of the Sun planet system will lie outside the Sun only if A R M P L A N E T M 
greater than 1 a m p l a n e t greater than r m approximately equals 2 3 times 10 11 m kilometer approximately equals 1530 m o Display style over R underscore a dot C D O T M underscore Mathram planet over M underscore a dot greater than one right arrow a C D O T M underscore Mathram planet greater than R underscore a dot C D O T M underscore a dot approximately two point three times ten carat eleven M underscore O plus M box kilometer approximately fifteen thirty M underscore O plus M box O that is, where the planet is massive and far from the Sun. If Jupiter had Mercury's orbit 57,900,000 km, 0.387 astronomical units, the Sun-Jupiter barycenter would be approximately 55,000 km from the center of the Sun R1, R1 approximately equals 0.08 but even if the earth had eris orbit 1.02 times 1010 kilometers 68 astronomical units the sun earth barycenter would still be within the sun just over 30000 kilometers from the center to calculate the actual motion of the sun only the motions of the four giant planets jupiter saturn uranus neptune need to be considered the contributions of all other planets dwarf planets etc are negligible if the four giant planets were on a straight line on the same side of the Sun, the combined center of mass would lie about 1.17 solar radii or just over 810,000 km above the Sun's surface. The calculations above are based on the mean distance between the bodies and yield the mean value R1. But all celestial orbits are elliptical, and the distance between the bodies varies between the apses, depending on the eccentricity, e. Hence, the position of the barycenter varies too, and it is possible in some systems for the barycenter to be sometimes inside and sometimes outside the more massive body. This occurs where 1 1 minus e greater than r 1 r 1 greater than 1 1 plus E display style frac 1 1 e greater than frac r underscore 1 r underscore 1 greater than frac 1 1 plus e the sun jupiter system with a jupiter equals 0.0484 just fails to qualify 1.050.954 equals topic gallery equals images are representative made by hand not simulated equals topic relativistic corrections equals in classical mechanics this definition simplifies calculations and introduces no known problems in general relativity, problems arise because, while it is possible, within reasonable approximations, to define the barycenter, the associated coordinate system does not fully reflect the inequality of clock rates at different locations. Brumberg explains how to set up barycentric coordinates in general relativity. The coordinate systems involve a world time, i.e., a global time coordinate that could be set up by telemetry. Individual clocks of similar construction will not agree with this standard, because they are subject to differing gravitational potentials or move at various velocities, so the world time must be slaved to some ideal clock that is assumed to be very far from the whole self-gravitating system. This time standard is called barycentric coordinate time, or TCB. Equals. <laughs> Topic. Selected barycentric orbital elements equals Barycentric oscillating orbital elements for some objects in the solar system are as follows 
For objects at such high eccentricity, the Sun's barycentric coordinates are more stable than heliocentric coordinates. <laughs> See also